Hmm. Class B is performing all of that? Yeah, so you better not miss it, man. <laughs> Whoa, dude! <laughs> Tokuyami? Huh? Are you okay? Uh, uh yes. <laughs> That's a relief. Can't have one of our band members getting hurt right before the show. Gotta give the best performance, after all. <laughs> mm. You have my thanks, Kirishima. <laughs> See you at practice, man. <laughs> Oi, quit spacing out, damn it! <clears throat> Edgar Allan, drop out! Quoth. <sighs> Forgive me, Icarus. I've recently discovered why the Venerable Sun attracts you so, and... Well, it's been a lot to process for one as dark as myself. English! I, uh... I fell into Kirishima's arms today, and... At last I understand why you trust your heart to him. <laughs> there is no shame in liking the warmest smile in class, Icarus! <laughs> I don't like a single thing about that red-headed loser! Um, such ugly words are unbecoming of you, Bakugo. Me? <sighs> I love you, bro. But, as a man, I can't back down from those fighting words. Let's go, Katsuki! <sighs> you must be an idiot if you think you could take me, Eiichiro! I know I can! I'll give you a pummeling so brutal, you'll look back on it as the most exciting ass kicking in your life! <laughs> Big talk. You had better not waste my time then. Don't worry. I'll give you something to like. That's a promise. <laughs> you will not! Uh, as class president, I... <sighs> I'm going to bed. Eat enough. Without any permission! <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> uh, don't you start! This was you gonna get involved. You got a death wish? Consider that karma for saying such a horrible thing in front of your best friend. You had better apologize to Kiri. I'm certain it wasn't intentional. His heart is locked in turmoil. What? The Red Sun has become an object of calming radiance in our dark Icarus. Although he denies his desire to fall and refuses to fly any closer to the sun than necessary. That's... Not the story. Icarus doesn't want to fall. Bakugo? Wait, oh, so sorry. who is... I'm sorry. The Red Sun? What the fuck? <laughs> Hi, guys. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a new video. Enjoy. You guys already finished the history project? <sighs> I'm struggling over here, you guys. My partner fell asleep. To be fair, Blasty already finished most of the work an hour ago. It's his bedtime. It's 8.30! <sighs> Are you guys almost done? Almost! We're adding sound effects to the slideshow. So, if you yes. would have... <laughs> Coach on! Let's train together! Uh, you think you could take me on, Deku? <clears throat> Don't worry, Kachan. I've been getting stronger. Plus, I have no one else to train with today. Ochako is busy, and Itakun has already snatched up Kirishima. <sighs> Kirishima is a noble son, and his family took Todoroki in as a request from his mother, the Queen. They grew up together as bros. When they were kids, Toto accidentally hit Kiri with a blast of magic, and Kirishima got very sick. Kirishima's parents took him to trolls to heal their son, and his black hair had a white streak for a while, before he dyed it red in his teen years. Todoroki's heavily resented inheriting his parents' magic after that. Kirishima's parents did what they could to conceal the magic to help. Not the best idea, but they meant well and he considered them family. Kirishima's parents died in a boating accident, and Todoroki isolated himself from everyone over the loss. Now turning 21, Todoroki is eligible to inherit his father's throne, 
and a party is held in his honor. Shoto is horrified of the notion. Kirishima, on the other hand, is excited to meet other nobles his age, and excited of the notion he might meet the one at the party. It was love at first sight when the gorgeous Dobby hit Kirishima off the dock with his horse. His true love, LMAO. JK Bakugo is going to come in later, so you don't have to worry about it. Your Highness, may I introduce the Duke of Weaseltown? Ugh, Westleton. After ditching Duke Manoma of Wesselton in the dance hall, Kirishima comes across Dobby in the halls of his childhood home. As it turns out, Dobby was not invited and was attempting to sneak into the party. They hide together for a while and talk. Though red flags were popping up everywhere, Kirishima couldn't help but admire how manly and handsome Dobby was. The two clicked immediately and they spent most of the night walking the estate's grounds and talking about their respective lives. Near the end of the night, Dobby proposed the crazy idea that the two be married? After years of isolation following the death of his parents, Kirishima was elated at the idea of having someone to share his life with, and the two rushed to his brother, Prince Todoroki, to ask for him to bless their marriage. We're supposed to be brothers. Why do you shut me out? Why do you shut the world out? Enough, Kirishima. No! What did I ever do to you? What are you so afraid of that you have to lock yourself away? I said enough! Prince Shoto! A, a troll. You've gotten so big since I last saw you! Anyway, what are you doing all the way up here? I'm looking for my friend Kachan. He's blonde, grumpy, and clearly gay. We just haven't had the talk yet. Have you seen him? Please, take away my parents' magic. All it has ever done is hurt the people I care about. <laughs> Dummy, no troll in their right mind would take away your natural-born magic. It's your quirk. I'm coming with you. No. It's my fault Shoto freaked out, so I need to be the one who goes to get him. <sighs> All right. Come back safe. Of course. My brother would never hurt me. In the meantime, I'll leave Dobby in charge. Okay. After being thrown from his horse, Kirishima is stranded in the woods with no hope of finding his brother. After wandering the forests a while with no real destination, he comes across the Wandering Oaken's trading post. Immediately upon entering, Kirishima is greeted with a jolly Yoo-hoo! Kiri uses the opportunity to better equip for the weather when a stranger arrives. The mysterious stranger failed to articulate that Kirishima was blocking the carrots. Kirishima stared on in awe as the Jericho. mysterious stranger tried and failed to barter with the gentle giant of a shopkeep. He interjected several times to ask about his missing brother Shoto, and to call out the stranger on being a jackass for no reason. Feeling generous, despite the stranger's many, many insults and threats to the owner's life and property, the shopkeeper came to a compromise with the price of the stranger's items, and threw in a free visit to the on-site sauna. Yoo-hoo! Hi, family! Bakugo succeeds in yet again getting banned from a place of business. His shape-shifting companion is not surprised. Music begins to play. It is not the song you want, as that is very heavily copyrighted. But it's, it's music. Yeah. Nice song, man. <sighs> what do you want, shitty hair? I need you to take me up the mountain so I can see my brother. Ah! <sighs> Get lost, loser. I don't take people places. Now. We leave now. Right now. 
You can't seriously be a mountain climber that can't climb mountains. <laughs> I'll kill you! Whoa! Haha! <laughs> I'd like to see you try! How about this? Loser has to do whatever winner says! No holding back! How manly. Whatever! You pretty boys are all f king talk! <laughs> you know the strawberry boy bought the stuff we needed. Why don't we help him? <laughs> Shut up, Sero! You're being stupid, but go ahead, I guess. This shithead's got a solid build, but he's slow. <laughs> pretty boys are all talk. <laughs> Fucking run! Uh, 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 no, 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 no! That is not a bottle of crazy you want to open! Sarah, was it? Shit, shit, shit! Dude, what are you doing? I'm trying to stop the fighting! This guy may be strong, but nobody has been able to budge me in this form. Oh, good lord! Zero. It's very rude to interrupt a fight between men. Oh. Especially one with my brother's life on the line. <laughs> Look, I know how to stop this eternal winter, but I need help up that mountain. Hakugo, if he can stop this winter, we should help. <laughs> Tell me why the... Exactly I should help some bastards who didn't even bother buying your carrots! Ha ha ha! I've changed my opinion of you. I really respect a guy who cares about his friends so much. Die, shitty hair. My name's Kirishima. And seriously, I'm really grateful you guys are helping me out. <laughs> Fuck off, Kirishima! I'm doing this for my ice business! Dude, did you lift trees as a baby? Sarah weighs 400 pounds. Oh, um... You want to shut me up? So, what made your brother all ice crazy? Right. Well, it's partially my fault. See, I got engaged. <laughs> but then Shoto freaked out because I'd only met him, you know, that day. And he wouldn't bless the marriage. Uh, uh... You got engaged to a man you just met that day? Yeah. Anyway, I got mad, so he got mad. And he tried to walk away, so I grabbed his glove. Hold on! <sighs> Your dumbass got engaged to a man you just met that day? Yes. Pay attention. But the thing is, Shoto wore the gloves all the time. Didn't your parents ever warn you about strangers? What the f- Dobby isn't a stranger. What's his last name? Of the Southern Isles. What's his favorite food? Sandwiches. Best friend's name? Probably Hawks. Eye color? Dreamy. <laughs> foot size? Come on, man. Foot <laughs> size doesn't matter. It's true love. That doesn't sound like love at all, shitty hair. Yeah? Are you some sort of love expert? No, but I have friends who are. Yeah. Guys, stop talking. Huh? What's the hold up? No, Moo. <laughs> Figures. Okay, what do we need to do? You won't do anything, idiot! Leave this to me and focus on staying alive! I want to help! Fuck no! What? Why? I don't trust your judgment! Excuse me? Who marries a man they just met? <clears throat> it's true love! Huh? <sighs> nice. Fuck! Blondie! It's Bakugo! Duh! <sighs> You almost set me on fire! But I didn't. Guys, we're coming up on a dead end! Jump, Zero! You don't get to tell Sarah what to do! Yeah. Ah. Jump, Zero! Ah. 